everyone how's it going welcome back to another walking dead video so in this one here i wanted to talk about episode six and uh break down the the teaser trailer or at least focus on one aspect to it and also get into some other details of that that we've learned about this episode here so obviously before we go any further definitely make sure to be a subscriber if you do want to get all my walking dead content like this this episode is premiering in just five days now so obviously very very exciting uh i i do personally feel very like nervous about this episode just because i don't want it to be the end and so i am really just I i'm i'm preparing myself for the worst that like this is gonna somehow end everything and then you know we never see rick and michonne again but yeah i don't know we'll have to wait and see um there's a lot to talk about here uh it looks like early reviewers are getting episode six now so that's uh that's really good. You know, I guess people have now watched the very last episode here and they know how it ends, which is kind of incredible. Like there's actually people out there that know how this ends. They know if there's going to be a season two or if there's like a big death. And you no, know, I did a, a Michonne's death video yesterday and uh, it was a lot of fun to do. First of all, like it, it's it, it's been a long time since I've been able to do a video like that, like talk about like can this character die in the finale and you know, have it be a little bit more believable. Like, yes, Michonne's likely not going to die, but because they're sort of teasing this like this is the end, or they're not really teasing it like that, but, you know, as of now, they haven't announced a season two, so we're all kind of wondering. I'm like, technically going into this here, this, you know, the, the possibility of Michonne dying isn't, it's not like, it's not like it can't happen, right? Like, there's an actual possibility that she could actually die here, and the more and more I talked about it and sort of went through the video, uh, you know, I started to make some points where I was like, oh, maybe there is a chance here, you know, with with Rick saying, like, without you, I die, and a lot of, you know, the happiness and stuff, and Michonne talking about, like, we need a sacrifice, like, that's been word that she's used all season, right, is sacrifice, and so I am just like, is there a connection here, and then you look at Okafor, you know, he had to, I think he let his wife die in order to further the CRM cause, and it was something that he had to do, and I just wonder if that foreshadowed something with Rick, and like, you know, something that he's gonna have to do here in the finale, so there was so much that was put together here that made me very like okay this is actually kind of concerning so i am in a place right now where i'm not like 100 percent like not believing it i think there is a chance potentially because maybe again maybe it has more to do with like not because they're like oh yeah we want to write michonne off right like maybe Denai Guerrero wants off the show, right? Like, maybe she's, like, wanting to come back, you know, uh, originally because, yeah, she wants to write off the character and all of that and, and go and do other things, right? Like, maybe that is the reason why. Because I don't think, besides that, there's no way you're coming up with a story right away if, if you're doing more than one season where you can do more story and all of that. So, um, yeah, I don't know. I think it would be absolutely insane. But, again, I don't really believe it because I think it's just too hard for me to believe personally. But, again, some people have watched episode six right now, so some people know. I believe it was actually Pollyanna McIntosh. It was an interview she did a long time ago in which um, I think she talked about the ending or she talked about something happening or... Like, she was asked something about just where the story goes and all that, how this ends or whatever. And I know she said something like, you can't please everyone. I don't remember exactly what she said, so don't quote me on all this. But she said something like that, and I'm just like, I wonder if this finale is going to upset some people. You know, like, if it's going to make a really crazy decision that some people like, but a lot of other people don't like. And obviously, Michonne's death would be that, right? It's hard to say. It really is hard to say because... I will say if Michonne does die going into the next season, you know, it would be without her. And obviously Rick would just have to continue his story. Then you're sort of starting something new there, right? Like you're starting the story kind of all over again, almost in a sense for Rick. And he's going to continue on for probably a couple of seasons because obviously you're not going to end his story right away. But again, I, I just, it seems so like they would never do that. But that's the thing though with this is like, it's so, you can't rule out stuff like this when it comes to Gimple being the showrunner and stuff, right? Like it's that's just things that have happened carl died in the past right there was that big cliffhanger moment with glenn and abraham right so yeah anyways obviously it's definitely very worrisome for a lot of fans but early reviewers do have it so i'll have to wait and see if there's some sort of reaction online to this at all uh episode six is called the last time and uh yeah obviously that that title there i mean it could mean a lot of things i don't i don't think it means what we think it means in terms of this is the last time we're going to see them I don't think it means that, but maybe it's the last time Rick and Michonne, you know, have to say goodbye to each other because uh, one of them dies or like, I don't know. It's very tricky to, to kind of, you know, figure out, but obviously the title is going to mean something 
overall after we watch the episode. We'll have to wait and see. The runtime for this episode, we don't know, but I've seen some people uh, saying some stuff online, and it really is just kind of random stuff. I've seen some people say it's an hour and a half, and then some people say it's like an extra 10 minutes longer or something like that. I'm assuming that this this uh, finale here, I mean, I don't know, maybe maybe something will happen here, and then this will be outdated. But my prediction, I think, is it's going to be pretty much a normal length of an episode. Maybe it's like five to ten minutes longer at the absolute most. But I think it's going to be a pretty normal length episode. I, th that's my prediction anyways. But what I wanted to talk about from the trailer here is, and this is something that I actually completely ignored. So in this shot right here, we see a lot of soldiers together here. And it's at the Cascadia base that Rick, Pearl, and a bunch of other CRM soldiers built, right, over the, over the course of like that year or whatever that we saw in episode one. And if you remember in episode one, there was actually a mention that Rick and Pearl would make this base here in a year's time, a summit would be held with all the leaders being at this event sort of thing. And, I, you know, that part there, I do wonder if there's going to be like other characters from other shows. Like, I don't think Madame Janae would be here, but like, what if there's other characters that, you know, that are just more important around the Walking Dead universe that are actually here? Imagine if, like, Lance was here. I mean, I guess timeline-wise, it doesn't make any sense anymore, but I do wonder, you know, like, I actually do wonder about that. Like, I wonder if they're going to make some connections here, if there's certain characters here in this scene that sort of tease a lot of that. If there's, like, scientists here, right? That would be interesting, right? Like, imagine if they started to get into some of the Primrose team stuff. So I'm going to be really looking forward to this because I feel like this scene here could be honestly really incredible. Like, if all of the the top leaders of the CRM or if there's any sort of connections they have with like any other entities and all of that, you know, I feel like this summit meeting here is going to be something that is really important. And again, it's called uh, summit. And if you remember the working title for the ones who live, what's called summit. And I mean, obviously summit means a lot of things in terms of like mountains and stuff, but also like a meeting of like, you know, just uh, of this scale here uh, and importance. Like, yeah, I think that it just, it makes a lot of sense. I think it was actually the perfect working title for this. Um, so this scene here, I think is going to be really incredible. And I, you know, you look at a shot here where you see Pearl Thorne reacting to something here. I thought that maybe she was reacting to something that was about to happen, but honestly, she could just be reacting to the fact that so many important people are here and she's just like, how is this even possible? How is this happening? Like, this is amazing. Like that all of these people here matter so much to the world and they're all in this one location. Like, I wonder if that is going to be, you know, how they set a lot of this up here. Like, and it's kind of insane if you think about that. Like, if that is the case, then Major General Beale is, like, at the head of all of it, right, in a sense, because he's here talking with everyone. Everyone's listening to him. It really does show all the power. And I know that Terry O'Quinn has talked about that. And, and that's what I mean. Like, there's so much with this character that I want to see. Like, he said in some interviews that he doesn't have to listen to anyone. Like, he has no one to speak to in, in any regard in any matter in any in any way like he is basically he makes his own rules up and he just kind of does what he does no one can stop him at all he has so much power so that to me you know obviously we haven't seen any of that we haven't seen what he's able to do and he follows all these strict rules and all of these things but like you know there could be a part to him where he doesn't follow the the rules or his own rules that he's made right like maybe there are certain things that they won't do, but, you know, because he's angry in this one moment, he's going to decide to do this or whatever, right? And then I wonder if that shows more of, like, who he is. I don't know if they're going to they're gonna make that character like that. I feel like this character has a lot more uh, respectable qualities where he does, where, like, he sticks to his word, right? I think that that could be something about the character. Like, the governor was kind of like that in a way, although I don't think so, I guess. I'm trying to think. I don't think so. Like, I don't know. Again, like, that's what's amazing about Major General Beale is that he's such a big character. He's such a big villain that, like, I don't even know anything about the character. There hasn't been a scene yet. Like, I want an episode focused on him. And I think if they did a season two, that's why I think we should get eight episodes at least, because six episodes, I will say, is way too short. Way too short. Like, it feels like we just started watching this, and I've, I've said the same thing with Dead City and Daryl Dixon. I know 16 episodes is too much. I get it. Like, that's something that, you know, TV doesn't do anymore, but there's not a lot of TV shows that do six episodes. And I, I also think the six-episode format is just, it's not enough. A lot of shows that people like, the episode amount is more around eight episodes, right? So I think that they should really stick around eight episodes instead of six. You don't have to do 10 or anything, but eight episodes, man, you could just give like an extra episode or two to focus on certain things. And again, Major General Beale, I want a backstory there or just an episode focused on his perspective with a lot of the, you know, what he's dealing with and all of that, because there's a lot of things about the character that 
we don't know. We only ever see, you know, how Pearl, Thorne, and Rick are reacting to him. Like, whenever Pearl and Rick are actually with him, it's like, we're more seeing him through their perspective, right? Because the scene starts off with them, and, and he sort of enters the scene, and we're just all like, whoa, who's this? Beale is here, you know, like, like, give him that respect or whatever, he's a leader here, and we're not seeing him just alone, right? Like, I think that's what would make a big difference here, is like, if we got a scene where he's just sitting in his office alone, and then just what is he thinking? You know, what's his plan with a lot of a lot of things, right? There's a lot of things like that that I want with Beale, and I think an extra episode or two would really help with that, right? So, um, yeah, we'll have to wait and see where, where this is going, but, you know, in, in the trailer here, we do see that there is a summit happening, and I feel like, I mean, does this happen after the Echelon briefing? Probably, I'm assuming, or maybe this is beforehand. We'll have to wait and see. But uh, I'm very interested in this. I'm very interested to see what's going to happen here because it could be a really big scene here. And I also wanted to add a couple of other things here. So first of all, there is a shot in the in the opening sequence. And the reason why I'm bringing this up is because there's a shot in the opening, I guess, credits where you do see surgeons like working on someone. Now, previously in the opening credits, there was actually a, a scene of, I think, some of the chlorine gas and all of that. And I was wondering if that was going to come into play, like just the visuals of that, if we would see that specifically. And we didn't yet, but it looks like in episode six, we're actually going to see that. So uh, for the most part, we have seen every single scene that was in the opening credits. And uh, besides this one, obviously. So I'm wondering now if we're going to see in this episode, maybe a flashback to like when Rick first arrived to the CRM. I think that'd be really cool. You know, like he just kind of maybe he's like sort of out of it and he wakes up and, you know, they're, they're obviously fixing him and stuff. And maybe it's just a, like a really short scene like that where, you know, just for us, it's really interesting to see. But for Rick, you know, it's just like he's remembering something or something like that. Right. So I just wanted to mention that because I thought that maybe, you know, that could happen here. I think that'd be really cool if that does happen. But anyways, I'll leave it here. Uh, definitely post all your thoughts down below. Um, do you think that this Sunday is going to be the end of the Graham story? Or is it going to be the start of something entirely brand new here? I think that'd be really incredible. But uh, yeah, we'll find out in five days. So post all your thoughts down below. Hope you guys all enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.